Hi, my name is Medha Gupta and I was a 2017 Congressional App Challenge winner. I'm also currently a member of the Congressional App Challenge Alumni Advisory Board and I study computer science as a sophomore at New York University. My name is Michael Batavia. I'm from the Bronx, New York. Um, and my congressperson is Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in uh, New York 14. And what was the name of your winning app? Oh, Crown Catch. That's awesome. So could you please describe what Crown Catch does in like 30 seconds-ish? So Crown Catch is sort of a helper app that allows you to track your progress, kind of surviving through the coronavirus pandemic. It allows you to see if it's social, if you're social distancing. Uh, I built the app back in March of 2020. So it, it has a little bit of obtuse things like, you know, see if you're staying like in a, uh, you know, you're obeying stay at home orders or you're in a low hotspot area. And it uses a uh, behavioral psychology psychological techniques in order to give you reward points when you're doing like you're obeying CDC guidance and you're making sure that you're avoiding the coronavirus pandemic and not get sick. That sounds amazing. So why was building this application important for you and the people you made it for? It's important because I think New York has one of the highest COVID rates out of all the, out of all the United States. So it's, it's duly important for me to create this app, you know, try it out in my borough and then perhaps expand it through New York to see if it has an impact and it can kind of make New York who, uh, not, not number one, that's the one time you don't want to be number one. <laughs> no, I feel, I go to school at NYU, so I totally understand what you're saying about not making New York number one in this instance. Um, so you spoke about your impact. So what kind of impact do you want to make through Crowncatch and then also in the future uh, through tech? I, I expect it to have a lot of use. I don't expect coronavirus. I mean, I know it, coronavirus will eventually fade away, but I think it will be probably as common as the flu. So it's, it might still be useful like way long into the 21st century. And I think that in the future, I want to do some sort of entrepreneurial um, I want to use entrepreneurship with tech, create maybe a, a startup company that can address some of the problems, maybe not faced by the coronavirus pandemic, because I don't, I don't know how relevant it's going to be in like 2030 or something like that. But you know, addressing some problem, and being able to help members in maybe the New York community or in uh, metro urban areas. Yeah, that totally makes sense. And so, how has winning the Congressional App Challenge kind of inspired you and forced you to work harder, or, or like change your goals in any way? Well, like I said earlier, I I, did, I never really publish my apps on any of the app stores or make it make these apps available. So it was a huge surprise that I was I was able to get my app into the Congressional App Challenge, and it, you know it makes me more confident that I can perhaps market my uh, market my applications to uh, some local competitions. That's amazing. So what are your future plans with both this application and further applications that you may have in the background? So this application, hopefully I'll be able to publish it on the App Store once I'm fully confident and be able to uh, use it for different people with different aspect ratios on their devices. So far it's only for Android, but I expect it to be uh, open for iPhones and other types of uh, mobile applications. And hopefully I'll be able to do the same thing for other applications. That's amazing. So I know you said that you were really surprised that you were recognized by the Congressional App Challenge. So why did you apply in the first place? Well, I was, first of all, the Congressional App Challenge, I, I didn't know existed and I, with a big tagline, like it's the, it's the largest national science fair in the United States. And I, I was determined to perhaps put my app in. And since I've been working on my tech, technical skills for such a long time, I decided to work on this app. I started in a hackathon and then, uh, you know, just consistently work on it, submit it. And, um, you know, that's how Crayon Catch gets has such a status instead of just a prototype. That's awesome. So um, I'd love to hear a little bit more about your previous tech background and like the hackathons you've been to and stuff like that. Like, how did you grow your technical toolkit? So I just started out with a, a, a Python book that my father gave me when I was like nine or 10. And from that, I just started learning Java. And you know, from there comes Android applications and cross-platform apps. From there, I started working in some hackathons, uh, you know, trying to f feel the fever of all those hackathons. And currently I'm actually the executive director of one of the hackathons. So I'm trying to inspire kids to, you know, 
learn to like CS a lot and perhaps participate in competitions like this one.